Speaking of Dustin Poirier, earlier this week, Tony Ferguson said, put out a tweet saying, oh, Dana, pay the guy. You know, I want to fight Dustin. Right. Has, has there been any more talks on that? <coughs> no, I told you, we got to fight. Uh, has, has, yeah, Tony, we... has Tony accepted the fight? Yet? Uh, not yet, no. He will, though. I don't see Tony not accepting a fight. And what was the issue with Dustin? Just negotiations, money and stuff like yeah, that? I mean, listen, I like Dustin. I'm not going to sit up here and say anything negative about Dustin. He's a great kid. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it was he didn't want to fight in Abu Dhabi or what his deal was. He just, he, uh, he didn't want to fight. If you, if you don't want, there's, there's a lot of different ways to turn down a fight. Negotiating yourself out of one is, is one of the ways you can do it. So for whatever reason, he didn't want to take this fight. Only he knows that. And it is a tricky one. Listen, I understand that Poirier wants more money, but also on the UFC side, if you look at it from both eyes, uh, sides, devil's advocate, if you will, um, the, he signed the contract. You know what I mean? So you sign a contract for this many fights for this amount of money, and then your star rises a little bit, and then you want more. So it's it's a tricky one there. And, you know, I'm not being a company man. You know, that's what people say, oh, company man. But if you're the UFC, you can't bend every time. You can't be forced. You, you know what I mean? You can't allow fighters to break their contracts. Otherwise, right. you're just setting, setting a trend, and then fighters will do that all the time. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's a tricky one. It's the fans losing out here. It really is, because I was looking forward to that fight. Yeah, exactly, and that's what I mean. It's a very, it, it's it's hard to pick a side either way, right? Yeah. Because I, I'm always on the fighter side. You know, I always want everybody fighters. They they sacrifice a lot. I always want them to get as much money as possible. But as we just discussed, you signed the fucking contracts, and if the UFC has seen to fold every single time a fighter does this, then they're gonna have no strength. You know what I'm saying? And then they're gonna have no strength when it comes to negotiations. Uh, yeah, it's just a tricky one. It really is. I feel for Dustin. I understand the UFC doing it th that way. Listen, I. I understand, right? Because he beat Anthony Pettis, beat Gage, he beat Eddie Alvarez, beat Max Holloway, then he lost to Khabib, and he beat Dan Hooker. And that fight with Dan Hooker was amazing, by the way. Uh, and you know, he feels like he wants more money, but from the UFC's perspective, they're like, well, you're not the champion. You know, the only real time then you've got that bargaining power is when you're the champion, you know, and then you can talk. And even then I remember uh, with Dana, you know, I was trying to get more money once and he was like, what are you talking about, Mike? You've got a contract. You signed the contract and it has championship terms in there, you know, and that's just the way it is. And if you sign that, then I guess you've got to be a man and honor out that contract. Of course, across the board, I want more money for everybody, you know, so I feel for Dustin Poirier, but it is a tricky one. Uh, but yeah, anyway, listen, best of luck. Is 